So we were excited at, to see that the UN have really stepped up to this challenge. Uh, by adopting the minimum uh, vehicle safety standards, we now have a situation where countries around the world, there, there is now an expectation, a clear benchmark for exactly what standards should be in place in each country. Uh, with that coming forward, we should see two things and we should see them happen rapidly. On the one hand, we expect to see governments adopting those standards and making sure that they're in place. At the same time, any smart global brand, uh, car manufacturing brand, should be preparing for that. If, not, if they haven't already, which they should have done, uh, already have adopted the, these minimum standards, they should be doing it now. It's exciting that that's in place. We want to see the manufacturers stepping up to the mark and delivering on it. Regulation is one of the key elements to getting safer roads. Uh, we've seen the whole discussion, uh, the important discussion about sustainable development goals um, and, the, and the need for a reduction of um, deaths uh, on the roads by 2020. And we know that safer, safer vehicles would make a significant impact on that. So there's absolutely no question now that governments need to adopt these standards and that they need to drive forward the enforcement, the regulation and the enforcement. But at the same time, car manufacturers should already be picking it up and, 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 uh, and delivering on it too. And those two things together should be there to satisfy consumer demand uh, for safer vehicles, which means that then everybody is better off and we make that change to, to the cost of lives on roads.